But moving on. Yeah. So no, for Christmas, like a lot of people gave me gifts, obviously, but a lot of them like wrapped a ribbon around a candy cane and like incorporated that into the wrapping and it's like cool great here's something for me to throw out i don't want your fucking candy cane does anyone like candy canes i find it as the last i put garlic in everything so it's kind of a last resort to not smell like a piece of shit at work sure like and that's it's like a breath mint but awful yeah like you gotta suck on it for like 10 minutes yeah i do enjoy like the fruity ones like the starburst ones but like don't give me like a peppermint candy. Like they're not good, John. They're not good. They're just decoration. Yeah, it's. Yeah. <sighs> Why not make it out of something else, right? Yeah. Why not have like lollipop flavored? You beer? know, and I'll eat like peppermint flavored taffy for days, or you know, give me I a just, York peppermint patty. Give me anything that's not a fucking candy cane. I I don't like uh just peppermint in general. Do you remember Kelly's uh, peppermint cookies? Oh, you got to relight. I'll Yeah, I don't. I don't like peppermint. I don't know. And then Kelly gets like mint ice cream. I just don't like mint. Oh, see, I love mint, but candy canes just fucking suck. You like mint, John? Ja? Yeah, I like the mint chocolate chip milkshakes at Oberweiss. Ooh, dude. Yeah, those, those that really sounds good. good. Do you um? Do you guys eat ice cream in the winter, or is it like a no too cold outside, no ice cream? I do. Okay. Yeah, if it's available, I usually I don't go like out of my way. I'll I like. You know what I do? When I get a craving, I eat it, but like mostly in the summertime, I would say. With, I, I like ice cream in the winter because they, they have the Oberweiss eggnog ice cream mm. or Ooh, just the eggnog. Dude. Right. Well, I had, um, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not a seasonal eater. Like I like what I like and I like it all the time. But I had a girlfriend and it was like during the summer and I'd want to go to like an Italian restaurant. And she'd say, no, I can't get pasta because it's, hot outside and you can't eat hot or you can't eat pasta when it's hot outside and it's like was yes. she trying to get you to eat her out her cold <laughs> fucking vagina yeah no i don't know what her deal was but it's like yeah no i'm just as good as eating you know like i can eat spaghetti just as well in the summer as i can in the winter like spaghetti yeah. is good but you know some people drink hot coffee in the summertime when it's like 100 degrees that's one thing i don't understand i cannot do that sure I, I like it. When, when it's good, like, cappuccino or something. Yeah. Like, same thing. I was at Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, and it was, like, negative five. Someone got an iced coffee, and it's <laughs> like, what the fuck's the matter with you? Yeah. Like, you're looking to cool off? They're looking to mash on that whipped cream. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. So you know, you know what? I Because of this, like, whole diet resolution thing, um, I'm trying to stick to because I didn't explain what I'm trying to do. No bread, no sugar, and by no bread I mean like no carb things. Like if I have pasta, so no pasta, if, whole pa- grain pa- pasta. I'll have. I I heard you could have like one cheat day on the weekend, so I made like a whole pot of pasta, but but it's just <laughs> for one day. Sure, <laughs> get it all in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, t- and, and and dude, it sucks because when you eat all week salads. And that's that's pretty much my diet: soups and salads every fucking day. See, I like and, a good soup. Yeah, and that and that's the thing. That when I'm at work, they don't really they they fuck us with the heat. It's not, it's it's pretty fucking. My nipples are hard all day, and I don't like eating salad when it's cold because it's how do you you don't want to eat a, what a heated up salad? Right, you want like a bowl of chili or something. Yeah, like, exactly. To warm your belly. Yeah, or and and then so when I come home, I make like. Uh, Uncle Ben's rice in there with no, you know, no noodles. Then you get the, then you get the rice with the quinoa in there, or however you pronounce it. That you got it. And uh, yeah, that 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 shit's, that's really good. I, I'm thinking of, oh, I, I got this Polish beet soup mix, which is fucking awesome. Um, I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't like beets? <laughs> uh, no, beets I mean, awesome. beets beets are okay, but are they awesome? Mm-hmm. No, they're not. Uh, I, I, it, uh, it reminds me of maybe like being a kid. Sure, my grandma used to make them. So, right. and I put a shitload of garlic as in everything, so it's super spicy. Sure. Kelly couldn't even have like a spoon. She said it was so spicy. <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah, uh, 
that maybe it's awesome for someone that's not eating bread or sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yes, beet soup again. Yeah. I, what about uh, pickle soup? You've been eating that? Oh, no, I never liked it. I love pickles, but I cannot have pickle soup. That shit, like, y- y- instant heartburn. Mm. Like the opposite of Pepto-Bismol, you know? Pickle soup. Is that yeah. a Polish thing? Yeah. So far, like, the only people I've ever met that like pickle soup are Polish people. So, Are there people that aren't Polish that have had pickle soup? Because I've yeah. never even heard of it. Yeah, I've talked to people that are like, yeah, I tried this pickle soup. That They're not Polish, and they hated it, so... Weird. When, when I finally got comfortable enough to be offensive at work, I was. Uh, <laughs> you got fired. <laughs> <laughs> we we had we had to sit down. Yeah. Well, well, I was uh, sitting next to these two temps, and I think I uh, there's uh, this uh, black girl that I work with. She brought in soul food, and I said, "Man, that's that smells amazing." And she goes, "I really, it's awesome because I went to my relatives in New Orleans this week, but I missed the taste of Polonia." I'm like, "Oh, I was there." I got that stuffed cabbage, yeah, the pierogi, pierogi. Uh, every like I I there was like this package you get where you get everything, and I was like that was awesome. Yeah. And then she she was trying to explain to me what she likes. She was trying to like kind of relate and explain what else was on my plate, but she didn't remember. And I was like, okay. And meanwhile, there's a guy who didn't really speak good English, but he was Polish behind her. I'm like, did it make you tear ass? She's like, ah, uh, kinda. I'm like, all right, it was probably Polish. It's like what? What was <laughs> so yeah, but th- that that's the way I look like. I don't know. That's kind of the way I explain Polish food: sure. Gar- garlic, onion, what else? pickle. It's very, I think, very acidic. It's good, but it's very cabbage. Yeah, cabbage and everything. Mushrooms. I I never liked stuffed uh, cabbage when I was little, but I fucking love it now. My aunt made it because we. Oh, that's a whole nother story. I don't know if I mentioned <laughs> that. <laughs> Do go on. Did I did I mention that guys or no? Not today, no. no. Well, I guess I gotta take back my old you know, that she's the queen of the cunts and my cousin is not a whore on Girls Gone Wild, but she did audition. No. I said a lot of negative things, but I guess we're on good terms. La- last oh, moment good. Um I kinda wanted to get rid of my ma because she drives me crazy. So I'm trying to I tried to like reunite the family. <laughs> which felt fucking great being the man of the house and sure. Uh, it was a really great awkward situation to make it even more awkward. But my aunt invited us. My ma sucks at cooking. You need fucking handles on your toilet because it's gonna launch you off if you fucking eat anything my mom makes. <laughs> she she'll make like chicken soup and not like the Polish way. She'll get like some, uh, you know, banned MSG Asian bouillon and put too much in there, so you're just shitting your brains out. And then um, my aunt. Dude, she does everything old school. When she makes pierogies, she rolls the dough, rolls the nickels, and and <laughs> the put, game is mine. Puts the nickels in there, and you got a whole pierogi helter skelter in there. No, but <laughs> uh, that's yeah. Charles Manson reference for <laughs> anyone that may have missed it. Well, man, Manson ski and yeah. this uh, no. the but. <laughs>